everybody Ann here and well you know I've got a situation with the insulation I did read all of your comments on my prior video and I've taken them to heart so um, considering you know what what we can do about this um, I'm sure we'll figure something out um, Andy's not going to be able to come today because he's um, very sick so um, let's all say a prayer for Andy that he recovers quickly and he starts feeling better. So um, since we're not going to be doing insulation, I went ahead and took all the rolls and put them in the, the back of my van. And um, I'm going to get the receipt for the materials uh, so that I can maybe hopefully exchange some of the unopened insulation for, um, you know, a different size that will fit up there correctly. And... Um, so that's not going to happen today, you know, let's, I'm just going to have to wait, to be patient. Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> oh, a little cold outside, my nose is running, gosh. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. Hmm. Okay, I've decided what I'm going to do. And this could be a huge, huge mistake, but you know what? I am willing to fail and let you all watch it go down. <laughs> See all those eggs? Yeah, I got a ton of eggs. I need to do something with them. And you can only eat so many eggs in a week. So, hmm, what am I going to do with these eggs? Well, I have some leftover jalapeno slices pickled. And a whole bunch of eggs and some onions. So, what am I going to make? I can tell you right now. I'm going to pickle some eggs. And I may die in the process, but I'm willing to take one for the team. First off, I chopped up one big onion. And... If you notice in this brine, it still has plenty of garlic and spices down at the bottom, so I'm not adding anything to this brine. Next, boiling water. Oh, you can see me in my jammies. Ha <laughs> ha. Carefully adding eggs into rapidly boiling water. Huh. I need better put this camera down for this. I'm going to let these eggs come back to a boil and let them boil for about 15 minutes. Eggs are officially boiling. So now it's just a waiting game, guys. Isn't this exciting? The eggs have finished boiling, so I'm going to take them out to my refrigerator and let them cool off. Stay there, little eggies. All right, that's an accident waiting to happen. All right, I am going to go ahead and dump this brine into the pot and hopefully not spill anything along with all of its delicious spices. And there's just a few jalapenos left in there, but plenty of garlic. To that, I am going to dump in the onions. I'm going to try to escape. See, that onion knows it's, this is a bad idea. And then the only seasoning that I'm going to add to this is about a teaspoon of turmeric. Because I love turmeric, and it is very good for you. I'm just going to stir this up. I am going to turn on the heat, cover it with a lid, and bring it to a boil. And maybe let it simmer for a couple minutes. Eggs have been peeled, and there are a few that kind of had a little few cracks in them, so I don't know if I'll actually add them to the jar. But one by one, with clean hands, I'm just going to dump them down into the dar jar. Jar, I can't talk. And I'm going to get do a layer of these. And then I'm going to go over and get some of them onions and put the onions in between. Onion time. Ooh, look at that pretty color. Yes. All right. Oh, yep, there's a jalapeno. It's going in there. Whoa. Oh, look. Doesn't that look pretty? I think it looks very pretty. I'm just going to try and pour the brine in while I'm filming. I'm scared. I'm scared. All right. I'm going to put the phone down. Look at that. Yeah, I had more than enough brine left, probably because I added the onions in there and whatnot. Got a teeny bit left over. Probably just toss that out. But I am just going to put the lid on this, and I am going to take it out to my deep freeze, which is my shed, and it's very cold in there, very dark. Uh, cover it up with something and wait a couple weeks. So this has been a fun project. I don't know if it's going to turn out right. I might die of botulism, and I may end up tasting one before the end of the two weeks. I don't know. I want to wait at least a week. But I think these are going to be tasty. So what do you think? What do you guys think? Oh, and I used about 21 or 22 eggs 
that fit down in that jar. I could probably have fit a full two dozen in there. Do you think I'll die of botulism after two weeks, after they're sitting out in the, the cold shed? I don't know. I don't know if I can wait that long to taste them. The brine is very delicious. I tasted it. It's very good. I got plenty of the other spices and garlic and whatnot and put it into the bottom. So I'm just going to carry this out to the shed and wait and see what happens. But right now, I'm just going to let it sit out here and come to, you know, the temperature that is out here because... I've got this cooler out here. It doesn't have any uh, ice in it, but it has a bunch of canned goods and they're, it's really, really cold inside this. So when this cools down a little bit, I will put it in here. It's gonna stay pretty cold in there, at least for a little while. Do you know what? I was complaining that I only had one pot, but this was left by the prior people? I don't know. It's dirty, but I think I can, I think I can clean this up and I think I can use it. Huh. We'll see. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.